My name is Jay Ellis, and I play Lawrence on Insecure. I guess if I had to put it in words, Jay Ellis is um, a son, first and foremost. A, a passionate dude who really loves telling stories about people who look like me. That, that is all kind of formed who I am. You know, when I think about the things that I want to accomplish in this world, I, <laughs> first of all, it's a lot. But I think, I think it's always changing. Um, you know, my accomplishments five years ago have changed to today, and I'm sure will change five years from now. They're always kind of flowing with this journey and with this path I'm on. But I think, you know, one of the biggest things I want to accomplish is giving people who look like me the opportunity to see themselves on television, to, to see themselves reflected, to be able to relate to someone who looks like them, to feel that their story is being told, and to give them the opportunity to also tell these stories. A really, really great man said this, and it's, I told myself I was a champion before I was one, and it's Muhammad Ali. And there's so many things to take from that. I mean, from how you think about yourself, from a self-esteem perspective, excuse me, to thinking how, if you are thinking like, yo, I want this person's career, I wanna be on the road to, to the path for this person's career, you have to think how that person thought. And you have to believe that you are that in order to get there because the minute you, you, you don't, the minute you self-doubt, the minute you, you play yourself, you diminish yourself, you're taking yourself off that path. You're not opening yourself up to all there is that comes with being in that, on that journey and being on that path. And I don't think we're taught, we're told enough to think about that, to think about ourselves like that. You know, one of the things that I say to people all the time is whatever it is, if it's creative, which is where my lane is and what I speak about the most, if that's what you wanna do, and that's where you wanna be, then you gotta do it every single day. You have to act every day, you gotta edit every day, you gotta take a camera and point it at somebody every day, you have to watch, you have to read, you have to be a student. And it's okay to still learn, you gotta do it often. And so the more you're doing it, the faster you're gonna get there. And the better you're gonna be at it when you get there because you've learned so much along the way. Do it every day. As a person of color growing up in this country, we're often told all the negatives about being black and all the negatives of our skin color and it's not gonna help you and it's not gonna do this and it's not, you know, this is how America views you. And one of the things that I've realized, especially when I started acting, is that all my experiences, my culture, my family reunions, and barbecues, and music, the black renaissance of films in the 90s, and the black exploitation films that I got to see from the 70s, and all of those things enrich our culture in such a way that I think people who, are, who aren't in our culture don't realize the pride and the strength, the character building, the diversity, the uniqueness that all those things that we have amongst us build, that all the, all the adversity has built within us. And then so when you show up to a workplace or you show up to an industry or you show up to a career path where people typically don't look like you, you walk in the door with something that is so unique and so special and so authentic and no one can take that away from you. And it's why you see so many young creatives of color telling their own stories because they have a perspective, they have a POV, a POV, excuse me, and it comes from all of those things. Part of the reason I do what I do is because I want to change the narrative around young black men, not only in this country, but in the world. And I think Lawrence is that guy. He represents a lot of young black men who have never seen themselves on television before, who have been knocked off their path, or depressed, or overeducated, or just straight educated, um, cheated on, whatever it may be, he ticks so many boxes of black men that we usually never see on TV. We never get to see a black dude be vulnerable like that. We never get to see a black dude just be a normal dude who's out here trying to survive and trying to hustle and want something bigger. Like we never get to see that. And like what I love about this dude is that not only does Lawrence reflect so much 
so many young black men in our society and give us something to go like, oh shit, that's me. I've been there before. I know that feeling. But he also opens up people who don't look like us to a world where like they can now imagine a black man in a different way. Their perception of a black man has completely changed. And it's not just what has been force fed uh, through other stories for so long. We've made a lot of progress over the last few years uh, as this industry of, of creatives who are of color has begun to expand and get opportunities and get platforms. But we're still missing more POVs, right? Because we now have this POV, but there's still so many more to explore. What you start to realize is that when you have different point of views, people are able to relate to a lot of the human qualities, a lot of the very basic needs and wants. We need more of those POVs out there because they enrich everyone's lives. They enrich our lives. They show us that we matter in this world. They show us that we're not alone in this world. They show us that we are boundless and limitless. Yo, what up, y'all? I'm Jay Ellis. You're watching Creators of Color TV. Y'all better keep it going.